My name is Teacher Evelyn and I work for VIP Kid and I'm a Christian. Working for VIP Kid means that I teach kids in China. I teach them English. And there's a set curriculum that we teach. Our curriculum is not just about English, but in teaching English, we also teach about science and animals, and we teach about cultures and religions a little bit, about holidays. And um, where where's the line is the question uh, that we shouldn't cross. Well, in China, it's illegal to share the gospel with children. Just recently, children can't go to church. So that's a new law. Um, so with that, there's four concerns that I've heard from Christian teachers, and I'm going to address all of them. The first concern that I hear over and over and over and over again, and people make a bigger deal out of it than it is, is when they sneeze, can I say God bless you? And the simple cut and dry answer is yes. It's not sharing the gospel with them. It's not proselytizing. It's not forcing your faith, faith on them. You're teaching them American English. And in American English, when someone sneezes, we say, God bless you or bless you. I do not encourage you saying Gesundheit because that is not English. That is actually a different language. Um, so I encourage you, if your student sneezes, if you don't feel comfortable saying God bless you, you can say bless you. When they come across Americans in America or in China, when they sneeze, those Americans are going to say, bless you. And that can be something that they're already familiar with because their teacher is American. Their parents are fine with you teaching them that because they want you to teach them to be native American speakers. Number two, some teachers have been concerned on Facebook asking, Oh, it goes against my belief to teach that humans are mammals because I don't believe that humans are animals. I want to explain that to you. I think the curriculum is just fine. The curriculum categorizes different things and it says that um, a mammal is a living creature that gives milk like humans, you know, it breathes with its lungs and it's warm blooded and it gives live birth. So not just by saying we're mammals, it just means that we're not cold blooded. We're not laying eggs and we don't chew up worms and feed them to our children. So by saying your child's a mammal, by, by saying that humans are mammals, we're not saying they're animals. I'm thankful that I have not come across in the curriculum saying that humans are in the ape family. Because I would say if that came up in the curriculum, which it does not to my knowledge, but if that were to come up when I'm teaching elementary school or something, I would say um, some people teach and believe that apes, are animals, that humans are in the ape family. But that is a theory, it's not fact. My opinion is that they're not, that they're separate, that one's animal and one's human and that they're different. Um, number three is animal adaptations. Now, some te Christian teachers have been concerned because we're teaching that animals have adapted over time. But actually, this is scientifically accurate and doesn't go against the Bible. We're not talking about evolution. We're not saying that something that is not human turned into a human. We're not saying by, by animal adaptations. That actually is pretty biblical. If you visit the, um, the, the Noah's Ark that was built in, in uh, Kentucky, that's the life-size version of the Noah's Ark, and they have a creation museum. I've not been there, but I've heard all about it. And they teach animal adaptations that a giraffe used to look different than it does now, but it was still a giraffe. It wasn't a cat. You know what I mean? Um, that a that an animal does adapt to its surroundings. There are animals that are 
white in the winter time and brown in the springtime. Um, and that's to help them hide from predators. And that's an animal adaptation. We're not teaching that one species change to another species, but just that over time, one species adapted a little bit. And that's normal. Um, so we're not teaching evolution. We're not teaching the Big Bang. We're just teaching animal adaptations. And that doesn't go against my religion. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Bless you. <laughs> Number four. This is the only one that's bothered me out of all of these. We teach about Ramadan, which is a, a Muslim religion. But I've come to terms and come to peace with teaching it. Uh, because we teach Ramadan, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Christmas. Now, this is actually a good thing because in China, in their schools, they're teaching atheism. And so this is sort of opening our children's perspective that there are people in the world that believe different things than China. There are people that believe in God. Now, in these lessons, we don't mention God, um, but they talk about Ramadan. They talk about Muslims fasting during the day and feasting at night and how long it lasts and the reasons for doing that. They talk about Hanukkah a little bit. They don't say the word miracle, but I choose to say the word miracle when I'm talking about the story behind Hanukkah. We talk about Kwanzaa and what that means for people from Africa who have come to America. And then when they talk about Christmas, they talk about Santa Claus. And I just quickly say many Americans celebrate like this with Santa Claus. In my family, we don't do Santa Claus, um, but we celebrate Christmas because we're celebrating that that's when Jesus was born, and we believe that Jesus is God's son. Um, and I'm a Christian, so that's why I believe that. And I just mentioned that like that and um, keep going with the lesson. So anyway, those are the four concerns that teachers sometimes have. Sneezing and saying, God bless you, is fine. Number two, teaching humans are mammals is fine. You're not saying they're an ape. Number three, Animal adaptations is not the same as teaching the Big Bang Theory. And teaching Ramadan, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, and Christmas actually opens the door for you mentioning how you celebrate what you believe. All right, I hope this video was helpful for you. Happy teaching. Thanks. Bye.